Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's Fossil Friday but I am inside one of the greatest craters in Europe or actually in the world to be honest. So this is the Stefanos crater. Now I did bring you guys with me when I was on Nisaros last time and I'll link that video down below if you'd like to see it but I thought I would dedicate a video to this crater because it is spectacular. The dimensions to be precise is 27 meters deep by 260 meters and 350 meters in its kind of circumference. So it is almost a circle but not quite but it is just a spectacular place. I feel like I'm on Mars to put it in perspective but it is just amazing. Now this was formed by hydrothermal activity hundreds of years ago. So Nisaros itself it's a volcano and it was formed approximately 160,000 years ago during the eruption of Koz and since then it's just been constantly active and it's just shaped this amazing island that I'm on and so this crater is technically a crater inside a caldera crater inside another crater in the Asian Sea. So Nisaros is located in the southeastern Asian Sea in Greece for those of you who didn't know and I'm here today to actually test my guidebook. So if you watched last week's video you saw that I completed a book for this island which has actually been my thesis but it's very windy today so I do apologize for the, the hair and the gnat and the noise. Um, but yeah so I'm here today to actually test that book out and evaluate it and I just thought I would do a little video showcasing you this amazing place so I really hope you guys enjoy coming around with me. So since I was here last they have put up a lot of fences that go around the perimeter of the crater and also around the really hot um, hydrothermal activity in the center here just to keep the kind of the tourists safe but also conserve this amazing place because us humans we might love geotourism and looking around but it can cause a lot of issues as well so this is just a help conserve it but obviously they are in themselves a bit nasty structures but you have to kind of decide where that threshold lies of protection safety and conservation so they are literally cemented in the ground but safety comes first and this is an amazing crater that i think will attract a lot of visitors every year so yeah has to be done <laughs> So these fumaroles in the center are humongous. So there are quite a lot around the edge of the crater as well, which I'll show you in a second. But these ones are a lot larger, which is why they have their own fenced area because we don't actually know how deep they go, but they do get incredibly hot. You know, these can get up to temperatures of about 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. So extremely hot steam comes out of these and it's just constantly active. But this is a good sign because as long as Stephanos is active, that pressure is being released all the time. So it's not gonna have, you know, a big release at a another point which can cause a lot of damage and it's all about you know mitigating that risk so having these hydrothermal activity spots is actually a good sign that this is yes an active volcano but a happy one. So these are the new fences again so they just stop you getting too close to those fumaroles at the back so you can see them they are still very active even though it's you know a lovely sunny day today because last time I was here you know I do recommend looking at that video I made last time because I'll insert a little snippet now it was crazy the steam coming out of these fumaroles and that's to do with its weather as well so if it's been wet or you know overly dry you get different reactions from the crater so it does just depend but you can see look at it pouring out of those vents and the yellow coloring is actually the sulfur around the vents. And it kind of gives off like that rotten egg smell. I don't know if any of you have smelt sulfur before, but you, you know it when you smell it. So you can just see it there. It's really amazing stuff. Like our planet, it's a cool place. <laughs> So that's what I got for you guys today. So I really hope you enjoyed coming around the Stefanos crater with me. So I will put some links down below if you'd like to learn more about this geopark and maybe plan a visit one day. So it is an aspiring UNESCO geopark, but it's getting there. So it already is a geopark. And so there's 24 amazing geo sites you can come and visit. So I do really recommend coming here for geotourism. I might be biased having written the guidebook, but uh, it is a spectacular place. So I've turned to my Stefanos crater page and I'll show it to you here. So this is uh, just the testing of the guidebook. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, as I said, that's all I got for you today. Everything will be linked down below if you'd like to follow me on my other social media, along with the Geopark website if you'd like to check that out. But yeah, look after yourselves and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.